hi guys welcome to my study compass in this video i'll be walking you through the past paper math p1 varying to october november 2020 let's get started write 200,017 in figures here is the number written in figures you can type 200,000 plus 17 into your calculator to confirm. Write 867 correct to the nearest 10. The number in the 10's position is 6. The number after 6, which is 7, is greater than 5. So we add 1 to 6, giving us 7. The number after 6 becomes 0. So we have 870 rounded to the nearest 10. Write down the order of rotational symmetry of this regular octagon. The order of rotational symmetry for a regular octagon is 8. A bag contains 20 balls. 5 of these balls are red. A ball is picked at random from the bag. On the probability scale, draw an arrow to show the probability that this ball is red. This probability is equal to the number of red balls in the bag, which is 5, divided by the total number of balls, which is 20. This gives us 0 0.25. So we place the arrow here to indicate a probability of 0 0.25. Work out the number of hours in 3 days. There are 24 hours in a day. So for 3 days, we multiply 3 by 24, which gives us 72 hours. Write this in order of size, starting with the smallest. First, we convert the numbers to a percentage by multiplying each number by 100%. 41% is already a percentage, so we leave it as it is. From these percentages, we see that the smallest number is 40%, which is 0.4, followed by 40.74%, which is 11 over 27, followed by 41%, followed by 41.03%, which is 16 over 39. Solve the equation 6 minus 2x equals 3x. When we group like terms, we get 6 equals 5x. And when we divide both sides by 5, we get x equals 1.2. Work out the difference in temperature between negative 6 degrees Celsius and 5 degrees Celsius. The difference is equal to the higher temperature, which is 5 degrees Celsius, minus the lower temperature, which is negative 6 degrees Celsius. This gives us 11 degrees Celsius. Calculate the value of A when B is 3 and C is 6. When we plug in B equals 3 and C equals 6 into the equation, this is what we get. This gives us A equals 27. The diagram shows a triangle drawn between a pair of parallel lines. Find the value of X and the value of Y. These two are interior angles. Interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So we have x plus 120 equals 180. When we subtract 120 from both sides, we get x equals 60. These two are interior angles. Interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So to get this angle, we subtract 140 from 180, which gives us 40. Angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So we have y plus 60 plus 40 equals 180. When we make y the subject, we get y equals 80. The diagram shows cuboid A and cuboid B. Cuboid A has the same volume as cuboid B. Calculate the height H of cuboid B. 
we know that the volume of cuboid A is equal to the volume of cuboid B. The volume of cuboid A is 12 times 8 times 5 centimeters cube. And the volume of cuboid B is 10 times 16 times 8 centimeters cube. 12 times 8 times 5 is 480. 10 times 16 times h is 160 h. When we divide both sides by 160, we get h equals 3. Fernando records the favorite spot of each of 20 people. Complete the frequency table to show this information. You may use the tally column to help you. The number of people who chose cricket is 5. The number of people who chose football is 7. The number of people who chose rugby is 6. The number of people who chose tennis is 2. Fernando wants to draw a pie chart to show this information. Work out the sector angle for football. To get this, we divide the number of people who chose football, which is 7, by the total number of people, which is 20, and multiply by 360 degrees. This gives us 126 degrees. Increase 42 by 16%. To get this new value, we add 16% to 100%, which is 116%. So we have 116% times 42, which is equal to 48.72. These are the first four terms of a sequence. Find the next term. The terms have a constant difference of negative 7. So to get the next term, we subtract 7 from negative 4, which gives us negative 11. Write down the term to term rule for continuing this sequence. The term to term rule is subtract 7. These are the first four terms of a different sequence. Find an expression for the nth term. Since the terms have a constant difference between them, we can use this formula to get the nth term. A1, which is the first term, is negative 2. D, which is the common difference, is 4. When we expand the brackets, 4 times n is 4n. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. When we group like terms, negative 2 minus 4 is minus 6. So we have 4n minus 6. The area of triangle ABC is 27 centimeters squared and AB is 6 centimeters. Calculate the value of H. Here is the formula for the area of a triangle. When we make H the subject, this is what we get. We've been given the area to be 27 centimeters squared and the base to be 6 centimeters. This gives us 9 centimeters. Write down the coordinates of point A. When we map A onto the x-axis, we get negative 2. And when we map it onto the y-axis, we get 5. So we have negative 2, 5. On the grid, plot the point 2, negative 3. On the grid, we've plotted the point 2, negative 3. The line L is shown on the grid. Find the equation of the line L in the form y equals mx plus c. All we need to do is find the values of m and c and plug in these values into y equals mx plus c. To get the gradient m of line L, we first need to pick two points on the line and apply the gradient formula. This gives us 2 minus 0 divided by 0 minus negative 4, which is equal to 0 0.5. To get C, we pick the y coordinate of the point on the y axis through which line L passes, and that is 2. So we have y equals 0.5x plus 2. Write down the equation of the line parallel to y equals 5x plus 6. That passes through 0, negative 7. y equals 5x plus 6 has been expressed in the form y equals mx plus c. So the coefficient of the x term, which is 5, is its gradient. 
So if the line is parallel to this, then its gradient M would also be 5. C is the Y coordinate on the line when the X coordinate is 0, which is negative 7. So we have Y equals 5X minus 7. Without using a calculator, work out 5 over 6 divided by 1, 1 over 3. You must show all your working and give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. First, we need to convert the mixed fraction 1, 1 over 3 into an improper fraction. So 3 times 1 plus 1 gives us 4, which we divide by 3. In the next step, we have 5 over 6. Then we replace the division with multiplication. And then we bring in the reciprocal of 4 over 3, which is 3 over 4. 3 goes into itself one time and goes into 6 two times. So for the numerator, 5 times 1 is 5. And for the denominator, 2 times 4 is 8. So we have 5 over 8. The length L centimeters of a pencil is 18 centimeters, correct to the nearest centimeter. Complete the statement about the value of L. Since we are correcting L to the nearest centimeter, we have 18 centimeters. Then we bring in plus and minus 1 centimeter. Then we divide 1 centimeter by 2. So for the lower bound of L, we have 18 minus 1 over 2 centimeters, which is equal to 17.5 centimeters. And for the upper bound of L, we have 18 plus 1 over 2 centimeters, which is equal to 18.5 centimeters. Write 9.314 times 10 raised to the power 5 as an ordinary number. When we type 9.314 times 10 raised to the power 5 into the calculator, we get its ordinary form to be 931,400. Calculate 4.1 times 10 raised to the power negative 3 times 8.9 times 10 raised to the power 7. Give your answer in standard form. When we type this into the calculator, we get 364,900. To write this number in standard form, we move the decimal point from the end of the number to a position after the first non-zero digit, which is 3. So we have 3.649. Since we moved the decimal point 5 units to the left, we multiply 3.649 by 10 raised to the power 5. Calculate square root of 8 plus 4 times 75 raised to the power 0 0.6. When we type this into the calculator, we get 7.83 rounded to 3 significant figures. The length of one side of a rectangle is 12 cm. The length of the diagonal of the rectangle is 13 cm. Calculate the area of the rectangle. Here is the formula for the area of a rectangle. We've been given the length of the rectangle to be 12 cm, so we need to find the width. To get the width W of the rectangle, we apply the Pythagoras theorem. This gives us 13 squared equals W squared plus 12 squared. When we make W the subject, this is what we have, which is equal to 5 cm. So the area is 12 cm times 5 cm, which is equal to 60 cm squared. Alex and Chris share sweets in the ratio. Alex is to Chris equals 7 is to 3. Alex receives 20 more sweets than Chris. Work out the number of sweets Chris receives. We've been given the ratio in which they share the sweets. If we represent the number of sweets Chris receives with X, then it means Alex receives X plus 20 sweets. We want to find X, which is the number of sweets Chris receives. When we cross multiply, this is what we get. When we expand the brackets, 3 times X is 3X. 3 times 20 is 60. When we group like terms, we get 4x equals 60. And when we divide both sides by 4, we get x equals 15.
write 825 as the product of its prime factors. 825 can be written as 5 times 165. 5 is a prime number, so we circle it. 165 can be written as 5 times 33. 5 is a prime number, so we circle it. 33 can be written as 3 times 11. 3 and 11 are prime numbers, so we circle them. So 825 is equal to 3 times 5 times 5 times 11. We can leave this as our final answer. Or since 5 appears twice, we can rewrite this as 3 times 5 squared times 11. Show that the value of x is 27.2, correct to three significant figures. To get x, we apply to Katwa. This gives us cos 36 degrees equals 22 centimeters divided by x. When we make x the subject, this is what we have. When we type this into the calculator, this is what we get, which is approximately 27.2 cm rounded to three significant figures. The diagram shows two similar triangles, TUV and XYZ. Calculate UT. For similar shapes, the ratio of their correspondent sides must be equal. When we make UT the subject, this is what we get, which is equal to 14 centimeters. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next video. Bye guys.